Alright, in this video I am going to demonstrate and uh, also provide a link in the description below how uh, to fix the issue with uh, the flight stick not allowing you to pitch up and down or roll left and right while you are in uh, or while you're braking under 50% throttle. As you can see right now, I am under 50% throttle. I am currently in the hover mode. And I, thanks to EA's wonderful tech support, if there's anything that EA can do right, it's tech support. <laughs> I guess they get plenty of practice right. Anyway, uh, there's a program that you download, and essentially what it does is it uh, allows you to make some custom edits to your uh, configuration file for your settings. And uh, though this sounds like it might be something that would uh, violate the end user license agreement, it does not. And PA actually told me themselves it more than likely won't have any problems. And if there are any problems, you know, just go ahead and call them. Uh, so far, no problems. It is working beautifully, as you can see. Got the gear down and everything. It's just... Oh, it's just so fluid. So I figure I might as well share this information with you. Um, another nice little thing the program does is you can use your, uh, your hat switch or pause switch, whatever you want to call it, without the need um, of holding down the button. So you can just simply use it as you're looking around. Now since it is technically free look, again, you lose uh, your up and down movement, but you can still yaw it that's something that's probably never going to get fixed. Anyway, uh, so the solution is something I would never have even thought of with the people who made this wonderful program that you can download. Uh, they figured it out that uh, since this game is cross-platform, um, apparently on, I think, the 360 edition, left trigger, which is, uh, in this game, for your joystick, throttle down is your free look button on uh, Xbox. So what happens is you set your throttle to left trigger thinking, hey, this is throttle down, right? You know, I'm going to use my brakes. Right now I'm braking. And normally what would happen is you would just lose all control except for this. In fact, uh, here I'll simulate it by holding down my... I still have a key assigned for the point of view. So right now I'm trying to move up and down. I can't. I can go left and right. I can roll. I can't roll right or left. So this button is essentially the button that uh, is being assigned to your down throttle. Even though if you were to go into your uh, menus, you do not see this binding. It is a hidden binding left over from the consoles. So this program, you open up the program, it automatically makes a backup save your current settings, and then you go to your uh, key bindings, and you find uh, the part where uh, you'll see your uh, your throttle down button, uh, and there will be a duplicate free look. You go to the free look where it has the, uh, the, the throttle down and nothing else, you know, no uh, extra binding, and you simply click the little X next to it and delete that forever and that link will be gone, and then you can now simply use your aircraft like this. So it's a great, great little uh, program, and there's really not much else to say other than it kicks ass. So, uh, woo. How can you not want to fly with a flight stick, right? <laughs> Uh, hopefully I didn't bore you too much, and I uh, and the link that I'll provide you will more than likely help you out. Uh, one little thing I do recommend, I do recommend that you unbind all your uh, joystick settings from everything that is not jets or helicopters, except for one, one really key binding, this binding. See? <laughs> So yeah, uh, when you have your soldier on foot, I'd recommend you make your uh, your 
eject button on the, uh, on the thing. <clears throat> I'd recommend you make the eject button the same one as your bailout. Or, or parachute, sorry. So yeah, uh, options. Go to key bindings. So on foot, let's see for the joystick. Parachute I have is button 8, which is um, uh, in my jet. If I go down to button 8, you'll see that's my enter exit vehicle. So that way I don't have to worry about splatting to the ground while I'm switching over from the uh, joystick to the keyboard. So I hope this helps. Uh, you can freeze frame the video, of course, and look at my control settings here. These work beautifully. I love it. So, uh, if you want yours to work just like the way mine is, just uh, copy what you're seeing here. You can probably hit print screen or something to make some freeze frames of this. And, uh, yeah, spectator, it is... I don't even know why I have that. It doesn't do anything. Uh, the vehicle, the reason why I still have that is for when you're in the helicopter gunner seat. If you switch, like, let's say you're in the helicopter and you switch over to the gunner seat, uh, or you're already in the gunner seat and your pilot dies, you can switch over uh, and still be able to fly the helicopter, or vice versa. And so yeah, hopefully this will have answered any questions, and enjoy the video.